but you know, life went on. And then when he got shot, I went to my friend Jeff Drew's house and he said that the president just got shot. And these are two foot things I remember watching on live TV again now yeah. later. One was that, and one was Anwar Sadat being assassinated. The uh, uh, whatever president of I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't remember if it was fucking Egypt or Israel. But it, it, it was a uh, Sadat was killed, and I was watching it on the news. Live. It was Israel. I don't. Well, there was later somebody um, got shot in Israel. Yeah, new, I'm fucking up all the names. Yeah, but that was when Clinton was president. So oh, okay. Anwar Sadat was on a military they were having a parade and there was troops marching in front of him and they turned around and shh, fucking that's, <laughs> that's gotta be egypt I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah probably that right? sounds about it. i mean it was not as through hand grenades it was his guys and they turned around and just riddled there was a bunch of guys like at a dais like a, a whole bunch of dignitaries and they just kick, 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 kick. what and i was watching this i was watching the live news and they broke in and said, I mean, I was somewhat watching. There was a special report. That used to be a big thing. Uh, now it's every breaking, fucking news break. Breaking. Yeah, breaking news. Anwar Sadat is dead. We have footage. It's straight out of the beta cam. And it hasn't been edited. We're going to warn you that this hasn't been edited. And I, and I watched this footage of a guy just watching the fucking parade. And then, boom, 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 and then this, the lens goes down. And then he goes up on the bandstand and what and you see a guy holding his own arm with what the cut fuck? off and there's like strands of Holy blood and stuff and muscle and he's holding it and he's dazed, like ask asking people walking by, like, what do I do with my arm? Like that kind of thing. And just blood. I mean, I saw I was a kid <laughs> and I saw that on TV. And the other thing was Reagan had just been shot when I got to Jeff's house. And we sat down and we watched that footage, 20,000, yeah. you know, of him like the dumb and, you know. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, he got thrown into the limousine and Hinkley. his own guy jumped on yeah. him. Didn't he kill one of the guys? He Didn't killed, Hinkley? oh yeah, he killed, he killed a cop. He, uh, James Brady took, who was the press secretary, took one to the head and was like this for the rest of his life. And the Brady bill was this big gun. His his whole life became about gun control. How the, fuck the Brady bill out, was dude. started by his family, by by James Brady, who was Reagan, Republican, conservative, Reagan's um, press secretary. He was his spokesman. Very, very brilliant guy who was suddenly was like this and talk like that. And he would make speeches and his wife would help him. And the Brady bill was like, we, of course we're gonna pass this. Because it was, and a lot of Republicans were in favor of it, but the NRA was just a motherfucker. There was no way to to pass it. Um, you looking up James Brady? No, I'm just looking at how funny Hinckley is now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him; he's just leaving he's a still, subway. Oh, he looks exactly like me. <laughs> he's doing pretty good. He looks like me. He's, he's got the same body. Playing guitar. Good for you, John. To CNN, Good boy. man who shot Reagan is now posting love songs online. <laughs> hey, he's like, I got to get chicks the old fashioned way. <laughs> sing him a song. Dude, just leaving Subway. I used to shoot presidents to impress girls. And now I just sing him a song <laughs> like a good old boy. I hope he gets pussies playing what is guitar. He there? That's it's a, a Subway, dude. Just get a nice hobie. subway, just like Jared. If he keeps eating those, he can get skinny <laughs> like gonna, Jared and fuck. Now children. he's gonna get some pussy. <laughs> he can be a kid fucking president <laughs> murdering guitarist. This guy's not done. He's got his, his brand. He's still building his brand. He's got a shot. I mean, he looks young and healthy. It's funny to be fat and be like, I'm trying to get pussy. I could so you know the story I about him the gym. <laughs> that he had. There's the, these are the legends. He had uh, dinner at George Bush's house. Uh, apparently, like a couple of weeks before he shot the president. No. Look up John Hinckley and the Bush family. Their families were linked. The Hinckleys, I think, gave money to the Bushes or something like that. But apparently, Hinckley was a guest in a Bush house a, an alarmingly short amount of time uh, before he shot President Reagan. And a very interesting thing about it is that George Bush was where when he was when reagan was shot Do you know where george bush was when reagan he was, was in shot texas he was in texas there's this thing about wasn't texas. he in dallas when kennedy was, got he, shot that's what folks say 
And he was at like Texas is this place to like, like it it feels like he was your, skull, he was skull and bones. But oh yeah, skull and bones, very big. George Bush, and we'll get to him. But George Bush uh, was a power nerd, and he was a guy who really hated the Reagan. Sh- the shooter's father, John Hinckley Senior, was friends with George H. W. Bush. Yes. So he's like uh, how's regular, your, regular ha- contributors to the Bush campaign. Yes. How's your son? How's your how's your boy, John? Oh, I got to tell you, kind he's troubled. Loser. He's troubled. Troubled, is he? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with him. Maybe I should have a talk with him. He's like, hey, you want to fuck Jody Foster? No, he's like, so tell me what's going on. I'm just really into, uh, just really into, uh, I'm just really into Jody. Um, I'm just really in love with Jody Foster. I know that's weird. But I'm in love with Jody Foster. Well, you know, son, you can't just sit on your on your keister. <laughs> you got to do something. I mean, what could you do to get her? You know, well, how should I get? I wrote her letters. I wrote hundreds of letters. A uh, girl like that, she's famous. You got to do something everybody for everyone to see. Yeah, I'll tell you who she hates. Do something that's going to make everybody see. I, I just mean, talked to Jody. You know yeah. who she really hates? She. <laughs> I mean, if you were to do something to, you know what they say? Now was was <laughs> was uh, was Lennon dead yet? Lennon was 1980. He was yeah, shot in December 8th. And when was Kennedy? Well, I mean Kennedy. When was Reagan shot? When was Lennon shot? Important dates. Reagan was shot in 81. So Reagan after. was shot in 81. So right after um, fucking Chapman, David Chapman killed uh, Lennon. Yeah. And he said, the Beatles changed the world and I changed the Beatles. You know what that you know what that Chapman fellow said? I read this in Rolling Stone magazine. He said, the Beatles changed the world, and gosh, they sure did. And I changed the Beatles. That's what he said. So I don't know. I mean, a fella could find someone yeah. who's really changed in the world. I don't know. I mean, anyone, you know, Stevie Wonder, Ronald Reagan. And uh, <laughs> Ronald Reagan. <clears throat> Ronald Reagan. And maybe take, you know, have an effect on his life. I mean, what do you, you know? Anyway, so yeah, so so Hinkley was like, I don't know why you're talk, talking about talking about that, but uh, I I know what you're saying. And so then he <laughs> went to his bedroom and he looked in the drawer and he found a gun. He's like, "Where's this gun come from?" I left something for you. <laughs> I left you a little something. You know, what you have to do something. Yeah. So if you're the vice president and you you have anything to do with the president being shot, you need to be in Texas because if if there's any sort of like. We're, we have word that vice president, whatever. And then the governor of Texas is like, we're not extraditing. Like it's the one place he might be able to hole up and maybe even stage a coup from. He's like, no, we're, we're the Republic of Texas now. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it could work. So Bush is in Texas and he refuses to come to Washington. It was a big deal because he just should have taken and taken over. But he refuses to come to Washington. He's like, I'm not going. I'm not going to show up in the White House while the Gipper's fighting for his life. He yeah. made big statements about it. But he stayed away. He stayed, and it got really chaotic, as we all know. There's a great movie. How long was Reagan out? Um, a, I think a few days. But Nancy, so there's a, an amazing movie made by, by HBO called "The Day the President Was Shot." Richard Crenna plays Reagan, and Richard Dreyfus plays Alexander Haig, and it's like a comedy in a way. But anyway, um. When Nixon was in the in the uh, I mean, when Re- Reagan, you know, Reagan, they drove him to George. He, there's a hospital that's for the president. First of all, the the cottage, the White House, they have a emergency room. They have everything there. But he was bleeding. He was spitting blood. So uh, <laughs> and, and he yeah, and got him. he got him. He fucking shot him in the armpit. President of the limo shot him. And then he and then he thought his bodyguard jumped on him. And then he said, I think you broke my rib. He, that's what he thought happened. He said, I, I think you broke my rib. So they, so they, they were going to go back to the White House to get him looked at. But then, uh, then he started spitting lots of blood. And so they went straight to George Washington Hospital, which was just a, a fucking homeless people out front. And the fucking limousine by itself just screeches up. And they brought a gurney, but the president said, I'm not going in on my back. You're not doing that. What? It's true. And he walked in. Yeah, yeah. And this is great. This there's a move. This movie, the best part is showing him hello, walking by, and you see this black guy go like, oh shit, like oh shit, like just 
80s black guys who are in front of a hospital like their wife's fucking having a baby and they're smoking. And this the, that's the fucking president. And he's like, hello. And then he, as soon as he got, as soon as he got inside, hey, he, fellas, how he, are you? yes, he crumbles. And uh, they got him on the uh, on the gurney and they're going. And he he came to at one moment because the nurse was holding his hand. And he said, does Nancy know about you and me? And then uh, right before he went on a charming it, devil. Yes. The the doctors right before anesthesia, they said, Mr. Because they had to tell him he was the head of the fucking world. And there was no he was in charge. And they didn't know. Do we do we he's going under anesthesia. And they said, Mr. President, we're going to put you under. We have to get this bullet out of you. And it was an exploding bullet. <laughs> so the doctors were all in danger. Hinkley. Hinkley's he used an exploding beast. bullet. What? And it was next to his heart. It was like leaning yeah. against his heart like this, the bullet. <laughs> and so the doctors <laughs> said, we got to get this bullet out of you, so I'm going to put you under now. And he said, I hope that you guys are Republicans. And the doctor, who was not a Republican, said, Mr. President, today we're all Republicans. And he saved his life. But he was extremely, I mean, he was on death's door for mm. a few days. Now, the White House has Alexander Haig saying, I'm, I'm in charge here at the White House. I'm, I'm, he was the Secretary of State. He had yeah. no business saying that. He was like, by the, he made up this thing, by the success, laws of succession, I would be next. It's like, no, no, you're like 20th yeah. down. And meanwhile, at the, at the hospital, Nancy's there <laughs> with the chief of staff, and there was a battle between the White House and the guys at the hospital. So they needed to prove that Reagan was functioning as a president. So they needed a photograph and they needed him to do a piece of business. So they had a, a, the dairy bill, some bill that's like for dairy subsidies that needed to be signed. Jackpot for those guys. Yes. So they <laughs> like, Holy shit. we did it. Hinkley, <laughs> Hinkley baby, I love you. <laughs> Hinkley! <laughs> That's what it was. It was the milk people. The milk people. The milk people did the whole Big thing. Big milk, dude. For another 15 cents on a fucking <laughs> carton of milk. So Nancy got enlisted and they said, you need to do this. And you need to handle them like you handled them in the movies. And so she put makeup on his face and she like slaps. Said, Ron, you got to wake up. And they have and they leaned his bed up like this. And she just kept trying to wake him up. And this is all in the movie done very well. But it's true. And they took a picture of him like, duh. There's this picture of him. <laughs> like a really weird picture that I think did more harm than good. And then he signed, he signed uh, he the dairy He looks great. Bill. Yeah. <laughs> he signed the dairy bill. It's a great picture. One great picture is very rare to find of Reagan. He had, like, he had many operations. He was a very sick and dying old man. Yeah. He had some brain, like something taken off his brain or something. So he had had his, half of his head was shaved. And at one, and he was coming out of the airplane, and he had a baseball cap on, and he went like like this. Oh no! And Nancy's going, "Don't!" <laughs> like, oh, she's like no. horrified, and he because he thought it was funny. <laughs> Half his head is shaved. It's creepy. <laughs> I, I I saw that picture once. I never saw it again. Uh. So anyway, Reagan survived, obviously, and then that just was a massive lift. Yeah. I, I remember as a kid, my mother hated Reagan, and I was just like, "Yeah, good, you know, good for you, you know." Everybody was happy for him. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's really mad. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, Reagan. Picture. I ran the guy, Rob.